Good morning, this is Charles 9mm, and uh, this morning I'd like to talk to you about uh, clothes design. And uh, I think that uh, clothing for men, especially, has degraded to the point of just a disaster. Uh, men have gone to wearing clothing that in the old days you would uh, be working on your car in, and they actually go to the office wearing these clothes. Uh, the other thing is the designers, clothes designers, have absolutely betrayed their customers. Um, more of men's clothing today is about either the hip hop culture or homoerotica. And again, if you, I'm not knocking gay people at all, so don't get me wrong. But uh, believe me, there are masculine men out there, and uh, they want to wear masculine clothes. That doesn't make them homophobic, so let's not go there. And if I said hip-hop, I'm not making any racist remarks either, so don't go there as well. I'm talking about how the clothes look. Hip-hop clothes look terrible. They're baggy, they're, and they're goofy-looking. And uh, they, uh, any 50-year-old man who works in an office has no business wearing hip-hop clothing. It's not going to work for you. It's not going to get you noticed to get you that, uh, you know, that stabilize your career. You're going to look like an idiot. Um, uh, hoodies hoodies look bad. They look terrible. Uh, the, the reason that hoodies are popular in uh, gang culture is because it hides your face from closed circuit television when you're committing a crime. And that's probably the only practical use for them. Uh, I hate hoodies. But, um, older men should not wear hoodies. The other thing is masculine clothing uh, died. And this is why most men... Uh, middle-aged men don't care anything about uh, about clothes. They don't care about it. And the reason why is because uh, the designers don't care about the middle-aged man. Back in the, uh, the 40s and 50s, and maybe even earlier, men cared about their clothing. They had nice suits and hats, and there was masculine clothing, masculine, masculine adult clothing. And today, uh, you know, people like uh, Karl Lagerfeld, are uh, just expressing their homoerotica. And it doesn't work for a 50-year-old straight man. Um, so uh, talk about uh, talk about prejudice. I mean, these guys, uh, there's a lot of 50-year-old men who have money to spend on it, and they look horrible. They look horrible in the office. They uh, they look like bums. There's a, I've met executives. I walked in, I thought they were the guy that was came to work on the air conditioning unit. Um the other thing is they're not designing for practicality. Uh, clothes, uh, men's clothing, are not built for the life that we live today. They're, they're outdated. Uh, they don't work. Uh, a lot of clothes still have a watch pocket. How many people carry a pocket watch? I mean, they've just totally forgotten that uh, it's uh, the 21st century. You ever sit in an airplane and try to get in your pockets? You can't even get to them. Why don't we design something, some kind of pocket so you can get to them? How many shirts have I ruined because of a pen? Why don't you figure out a way for men to carry a pen in a pocket? Everybody carries a pen. You need a pen. The other thing is, uh, uh, you know, why not uh, start uh, uh, making clothes anti-bacterial um, uh, uh, resistant? I mean, even some military clothes have silver impregnated in them. Some sport clothing has silver impregnated in it to kill bacteria. When I'm on an airplane, that's a big worry. There's a lot of mucus on that air, dried mucus on that airplane from the, the snotty-nosed kid that was sitting there before, and they're not wiping those seats down because they reduced their staff. When I uh, drive in my car, I can't get to anything. I can't get to my wallet. I can't hardly, you know, this is my cell phone. What do I do with it? I got a horrible case that I bought at, you know, Dollar General. Uh, they're just not thinking like this. So, you know what, I spend a lot of time at... Uh, at, uh, you know, the, the resale shops trying to find clothes, uh, vintage clothing that, that, that works. It actually works better. Uh, how about clothes that, uh, you know, that you can adjust the temperature to somehow? You know, if you're sitting in a suit and tie and you're in an office and they've got the air conditioning cranked, and I live in the southern United States, it's hot here. But you go into an office and it's like, you know, it's like 68 degrees in there and you're freezing. And you walk outside and it's 110. How about clothes that you can adjust? That you can adjust the temperature. You know, so you, uh, I was in Michigan recently and it was uh, 
uh, minus 10 degrees outside. When I went inside the building they, to uh, maintain the temperature of the building, they had the thermostat turn way up. It was like 80 degrees in there. And I went in there with a down coat, tie. It was hot. Inside that office, you go outside and then you freeze and your sweat freezes. Again, people, uh, you know, the designers have betrayed us. They betrayed us, and they are not doing their job, and they need to move move on and make room for somebody who understands that, uh, you know, that grown men need clothes for grown for grown men. They need to wear something that's practical and looks nice. You look like a bum, like you slept in your clothes, uh, or like you're wearing clothes that are for somebody who's uh, 25 years younger than you. So that's my little rant today. And uh, hopefully that helps somebody. If you're a designer out there, I hope you're inspired. Do something different.